API rate limiting and throttling are two techniques used to control and manage the flow of requests to an API, but they serve slightly different purposes. API rate limiting. Rate limiting sets a maximum number of requests a user or client can make to an API within a specific time window. It aims to prevent abuse, ensure fair usage, and protect the API server from being overwhelmed by a high volume of requests. Users or clients exceeding the defined request limit may receive error responses or be temporarily blocked from making additional requests until the rate limit resets. Example. A rate limit of 100 requests per minute means a user can make up to 100 requests within a one-minute timeframe. API throttling. Throttling controls the rate at which requests are processed by the API server, limiting the number of requests processed per unit of time. It is designed to prevent the server from being overloaded by limiting the rate at which it accepts and processes incoming requests. Requests beyond the defined processing rate may be delayed or queued, ensuring a more controlled and steady flow of traffic to the server. Example. If an API has a throttling limit of 10 requests per second, any additional requests beyond this limit will be processed at a slower rate. In summary, rate limiting focuses on controlling the number of requests a client can make while throttling manages the rate at which the server processes those requests. Both mechanisms contribute to maintaining stability, preventing abuse, and ensuring a reliable experience for users and API providers.